it's important to put something underneath the knees because it would relax the stomach. Now, we have to appreciate that underneath the skin, there are the musculoskeletal structures, rectus abdominis, yes, and the oblique abdominal muscles. So there is a layer of muscle that you have to go into. So when you come and palpate, it might be taking you through that before you actually feel any structure of the abdominal, yeah? So, the first approach I would like to is more like the hold, yeah? So you can just, very easy, put your hands there. And like dinghy, like a small boat over, <laughs> over waves, sorry to be very poetic, but <laughs> that's, that's the thing I, comes across my mind when I, when I put my hands, because I don't want to be invading that space of breathing, but I don't want to be too superficial. So there is a touch, but actually with the hair wave, the dinghy, my hands sort of like traveling there. And that's you can find if the sea is rough or the sea is how the waves are. So you could put your hands that way, but also you can start looking at the, the frame. Remember the ribs below? And just observe the breathing. The breathing is like an inner massage to the abdominal. Because every time you breathe, the diaphragm goes up and down. And every time the diaphragm goes up and down, all the organs close by get squashed and relax, squashed and relax, and it helps in the healthy movement and the blood circulation for this area. Yeah? The same in the hip. And when that happens, try really to associate yourself with these symbols that we're putting, the association for that area because it helps to have the symbol in your mind of this softness and what they're going through now to be extra sensitive I can't now move and be you know very uncareful about it good next one is sort of roughly how to palpate around there so you can do it in few ways. You, I like the, the enforced hand, which the lower hand is very passive and very accommodating their body, and the upper body is where you put your, your force. So, you're just putting your hand there and see how the tension is there. and then slowly take up, and then find another place. This area, for example, find a lot more tense, so I can then do a very light circular movement. Another way of approaching it is with the heel of your thumb, the uh, heel of your wrist. So pretty much the same thing. This would be even, well, what do you prefer, the first one or the second one? Um, it's probably, that's probably less intrusive maybe. Isn't it, yeah. Because yeah. it's more wider. So it's nice to feel a broader area that you're not very pokey on that area. Good. Again, looking for an area of tension and then just a very little movement. It's kind of subjective. You have to ask them if it's tense. You can't just guess because sometimes tension would feel okay and then area that are not would feel very tender. Does it feel tender? Okay? It definitely feels a little bit different to the other side. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. 
I've never had an abdominal massage before. Mm. It's a new feeling. Is it a good feeling? Yeah, it is. <clears throat> um, then you can start using the 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 skeletal the sorry the bony r frame around to help. So you can start moving. One hand move the lower ribs, and then the other hand kind of trying to get very little underneath it. Yes, exactly. So it's that like that movement. One moves in and allow you more to get into. So this hand goes in there, and then a little I can go a little bit more into it. Good. Then you will need to change the hand to do the same thing with the hip. Stay. And then you can do it from the other side. Now I've changed a little bit the approach, so I'm not coming from that area, but with that bit on my hand. So actually, I treat the digestive system by proxy of the ribs. Yeah? Or you can do it this way. And I'm coming really from the side, not from the front, yeah? Into it. Mobilization of the rib? Kind of, yes. Kind and whatever is underneath. So the liver, for example, would be here. So you see that a lot of liver technique would do some sort of like vibration on the ribs or ribs mobilization, yeah? To help in that um, physicality of something that underneath. Mm -hmm. It's like I want to vibrate the leg, so I'm using some other part of the table to do it. And then from here you can do the same thing for the hip. So you're really touching the, the hip bone on the side, yeah? Okay, so this is one. Let's take a bit of oil. Can I fold it? Yes. Fantastic. Good. <clears throat> Now, I think that with, with the uh, oil, it's even lovelier. <laughs> so, I have to be kind of, again, very slow. Think like food there in the digestive system. It moves slow. You can't force it and move it quicker. The more you do, the less it will happen. So, you can do the effleurage some sort of like in a circular mode. Does it have to be clockwise, or does it matter? It's sort of customary to do it clockwise, but it's kind of superficial, so... Yeah. What I would like more to put attention that actually you do a whole of the... You know, coming from really below to here, and then to here to the side. And again, thinking about, the, about their letting go, how much they need to let go in order to expose in a relaxed way that area. Mm -hmm. So trust is eminent, very, very important. And your hands should be really on top of it to just don't do anything that would stress them at that time. Yeah. You can come from this area and do that from here. I'm guessing you need to be quite firm on the size to prevent ticklish. Right? Uh, yes, yeah, that's a good, mm -hmm. good uh, insight. Okay. Now again, you start working a little bit deeper in, and again, you can do it with the fingertips. 
or you can do it in here but again slow is a must you know If you feel a pulse, this is the abdominal aorta coming from the heart to the legs. Okay. Now again, use the frame. You can move it this way. So if you see once I move the ribs, I create slackness here. And then I can go deeper. You can do that, you can even put their hand this way and then come a little bit more underneath. You can then do coming from the side, really. Now, remember quadratus lumbarum, mm -hmm. the muscles? Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit more in front of it, and it should be in the abdominal area. Good. And that's more of a general work. Of course, you do the other side. Then, um, you, you may work on the um, large intestine. Large intestine starts from here, goes, this is the, it's called the ascending colon, transverse, and then descending colon, and then zygmoid colon goes into the, so. That's by the appendix over there. The appendix is around here, mm. yeah. So, you can start by palpating. It's a, the, the intestine is where the food stays most of the time, so it makes sense to work on that area. It's where most constipation problem happens, um, so it makes sense to work on that. And you're trying to lose that area. You're trying to lose that area and you want to stimulate it to work more so it can evacuate. So you can work from... here mm. it's one thing we haven't talked about the noise if they start having more noises you could associate it with something positive because that's where the parasympathetic nervous system take over and they can relax more and then they have noises. So sometimes they would be very, you know, um, apologetic about it. But you should explain to them that actually is a positive effect. Okay. And then you can work in a little bit of a swift. Again, I'm not sure to how much it is really help to work this way or the opposite way. Does it really back up the evacuation? I'm not sure, but it's customary to work more clockwise, yeah, with the direction of the movement. Makes sense, yeah? Good. If you want to add to some of it, again, you can use some of the liver or the, or the um, laxity of the, of the legs. Or even, come on to your side, please, yeah. facing me, and bend your legs. Or even do some of the technique from the side. So you almost like having one hand on your on the muscles, the other hand in the, on the abdomen.
and uh, maybe you could come more to the front because it will be a lot better to show the front. So do work on the on the same structure, but actually now with the, un, with an approach from the side. Move the hip a little bit. Yeah, you can imagine it's almost like a frame of picture, and if you move it, the canvas in the middle also would move. You can't reach the canvas there. Or then the approach from here to move the ribs. Now I'm tucking the ribs but very gently. You know, I can really hook the ribs underneath and move, but it's too much. You really need to be kind of careful and if to just imagine you doing things rather than really pushing and pulling. It's not the shoulder that you can stretch, you know? It's completely different territory, yeah? Even figure of eight around here. Right, yo? Should we uh, start working, work on the, on the shirt, and then after that with some oil, 